asteroid danger yet again because NASA claims that Earth is in the shooting path, the shooting gallery, and these asteroids inbound for Earth could lay our planet to waste. Sebastian Kentley of Express UK reports, NASA made this shocking claim that Earth sits in a shooting gallery of asteroids and comets that could lay waste to the whole planet. This has happened many times before. As you'll see in the previous videos, we're talking about how uh, a great asteroid, the Clovis asteroid of about 12,900 years ago, the main impact was in Hudson Bay in uh, North America. Now, asteroids big enough to wipe out the human race lurk in the depths of our solar system, and NASA has not yet found them all. The dire asteroid claim made by NASA this week on a podcast, host Leslie Mullen, Ms. Mullen hosts NASA's On a Mission podcast, and there she discussed the threats of asteroids. The episode of the podcast published October 8, it was focused on asteroid impacts and NASA's ability to spot them before certain cataclysm. Well, we know that they can't spot everything. One of the recent huge ones, which is an interstellar comet, was not spotted by NASA, was spotted by an amateur astronomer from Crimea, who had his telescope, by the way, pointed towards the sun. Now, why did he have it pointed towards the sun? Well, there's a lot of people looking at the sun because they claim that there's a lot of objects around there uh, somehow related to Nibiru, Nemesis, Wormwood, Planet X, Planet Nine, whatever you want to call it, Gremlin, uh, and they're seeing things. And I guess he was very lucky because he was the one who discovered the interstellar comet, the second one that's coming at us, first one came at us, the Umwamwa, 2017, and now this one again. And after that was uh, discovered, astronomers have uh, very quickly come out to say that there's a lot more interstellar comets that will be coming at us, because we have a brown dwarf star system at the end of our solar system, and it spirals, is spewing out these debris uh, interstellar comets and objects at us. Now why is everything all of a sudden coming towards us? That's the big question. And uh, it's not good to have comets being slung at us more frequently than before, wouldn't you think? And uh, why didn't they catch them? Because their telescopes can't be pointed that low, they're too big to turn down that low towards the horizon. Now, speaking to uh, the guest astronomer Greg Leonard, Ms. Mullen said NASA does not know of any imminent dangers because they haven't found everything yet, obviously. Now, uh, the undiscovered monsters lurking in the dark could be threats to our Earth. Mullen said movies like Armageddon depict a, m a massive asteroid hitting our Earth, causing widespread destruction and chaos. Of course, the Hollywood movies make good... Um, you know, scenes out of these things. Great material to work with for plots. Now, huge rocks falling from the sky could take out a city, a nation, or even lay waste the whole planet, and that can feel like the universe is out to get us, she said. Daily headlines screen about asteroids coming too close to Earth encourage this paranoia. The truth is, our planet is in the middle of a cosmic shooting gallery. Asteroids fly by and the Earth is hit every day with hundreds of tons of dust, grains and small rocks. As we said before in one of the uh, uh, articles we read lately, they estimate 40,000 tons of space debris accumulates on Earth from these things every year. 40,000 tons. So, asteroids fly by and the Earth is hit every day, hundreds of tons of dust grains and small rocks. And when a six mile wide or 10 kilometer space rock struck the planet 66 million years ago, that's the uh, asteroid killer astronaut, uh, asteroid of the Yucatan Peninsula in Mexico, the impact wiped out two thirds of life on Earth. 
Now, scientists estimate a killer asteroid triggered a nuclear winter of sorts that ended the reign of the dinosaur. Now, since then, many smaller asteroids have hit our planet. In 2013, the undetected it was unseen. 20 meter or 66.6, 65.6 foot wide space rock exploded in the skies over Russia's Chelyabinsk in the uh, Siberia area. According to Mullen, the resulting shot wave blasted windows into millions of flying pieces of glass and uh, some 1,500 people were injured and 7,000 buildings were damaged. And she said the small rocks from space do 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 little to no damage. It's the big ones that we have to worry about, of course. Now, there are big asteroids out there, monsters in the dark, large enough to take out oh, uh, life on Earth. Now, currently, right now, none of the really big asteroids are heading for us, but we have not found them all yet. For the most part, she says, the Earth is protected from minor asteroids and space rocks by the Earth's atmosphere. Any space rock up to 82 feet across is expected to burn up before hitting the ground on Earth. But incidents like the Chelyabinsk strike of 2013 is evidence that some asteroids do slip past Earth's defenses. Leonard, an astronomer with the Catalina Sky Survey, said that Chelyabinsk was only 20 meters, about 62 feet across. That's a small item compared to what we're looking for, and that produced a large shock wave in the upper atmosphere, and it was a pretty ser serious event. But we see now that these relatively small asteroids can be quite dangerous. So we're wanting to put up our game and find asteroids of all sizes. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.